Hi, it's Obel1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on Console. Uh, this is me on my Xbox. And yes, I couldn't resist that pun of a title. Similarly, how Scooby, when he sent me this clip, said in space, no one can hear you wailing. So, yeah, we do that. We make dad jokes. We're of that age. And this was uh, what Scooby got up to while me and Al went to Beagle Point and back. And basically, he spent the time killing NPCs for materials which pirate ships are very good at killing NPCs for materials. It's one of the real advantages of having a pirate ship. Lots of collectible in bits, cargo space, and uh, a lot of firepower and stuff that takes out drives. So you're very useful for blowing up harmless NPCs for materials. Uh, one of those activities that we actually do enjoy doing, it's one of the few uh, highlights of the day, is blowing up some really annoying beluga liners. Uh, when you're out in the middle of nowhere, you can always find a tourist beacon to blow up some poor, innocent NPCs that are good for materials. Um, but yeah, Scooby didn't come along to Beagle Point because he had a couple of accidents, had a bad day, decided to take the time off, and instead went above the core looking down and got these cool shots, um, which it does look pretty cool when you're up above the galactic plane. Uh, not quite as good as a view from Rackman's Peak, but still... A nice enough view that I thought I'd bring it to you. And uh, yeah, Scooby hung out at the core, waited for us to get back, and has been up there the whole time with his carrier, just generally derping about, and uh, yeah, just not doing anything in particular, but just generally hanging about, doing the odd thing here and there. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd share with you some really lovely shots that he took of this trip up to the a place just above the galactic plane where you can look down and that is always an awesome view the view from Rackman's Peak is spectacular if you haven't been up there I would highly recommend it and I think there's groups that run carriers up and down to Rackman's Peak still so you can you know look up on discord and sure you can find a carrier that'll give you a lift up there have a look and then you just park back on the carrier and get it to take you back to the bubble uh, you know this is the one thing about this game. I love the fact that there's player groups that do regular runs to Colonia and back. You know, and if you ever need to go there to do your engineering, just look up like the new Pilots Initiative or um, Hutton Truckers bus service and you'll find your way uh, of getting to Colonia without having to do any of the jumping. You just park on a carrier, take the day off, come back the next day, wake up in Colonia. It's great. It is an irony of Elite Dangerous that, you know, the player base is what makes this game unique and amazing. Um, so much of the player base does other great things for the community. So much of the player base is terrible for the community. It's funny how the player base is. It's hilarious how the player base always complains about other members of the player base. You know, everyone's pointing fingers at everyone else. But honestly, you know, everyone adds their own little thing to the player base. And it's that player base that keeps us coming back for more. There is no other game like Elite Dangerous on a console. And um, people are starting to trickle back because... There isn't anything else that scratches that itch. And obviously Starfield's been put back a year. But anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Let me know what you think in the comments down below.